Today is going to be an exciting day because we got our hands on the brand new Ronin RS4 Pro. And this thing comes packed with a ton of brand new features, accessories, and a brand new LiDAR system. But first, let's see what the RS4 Pro combo has to offer. So I'm gonna unbox this and see what it comes with. One thing that I wanna point out is that I already unboxed this gimbal for my Instagram Reels, but this is the second unboxing, so I already unpacked a few of the things, but I'm gonna show you exactly what this baby comes with. As you can see, it comes with a beautiful carry case, which is a really good thing. This one is very similar to the Ronin RS3 Pro carry case, which is an actual good thing because I had the Ronin RS3 Pro for a while and the carry case that it had was super solid. So let's see what's inside. We have the brand new Ronin RS4 Pro. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm one of the first ones to test it out. Coming back from the RS3 Pro and being one of the best gimbals I ever used and now upgrading to the RS4 Pro is so interesting to see what's new and uh, what they come up with. But so far, looks super solid, feels super premium and I cannot wait to put this together and start testing it out. Now I want to show what this gimbal comes with in the box. So this is the RS4 Pro combo and we get a ton of accessories. We get a big plate so we can put cameras like the Sony FX6, Red Komodo and other cameras like that. Next we get the battery grip which is the exact same mount as the previous one. So if you have batteries from the RS3 Pro, you can use it with the brand new RS4 Pro. So that's a really good thing. Next up, we have the stand for the battery. So you can put this and rest your gimbal on the ground. We have a brand new plate system, which has a few improvements. So if you come from the RS3 Pro, you know how frustrating was whenever you mounted your camera on the plate and over time your camera was shifting a little bit or if you put a focus motor, the focus was pushing your camera. Well, you're not gonna get that with this brand new system because you have this locking mechanism that it's adjustable and you can put it and it fixes to your camera body. So it will not allow you to have camera slipping or camera movement, which is absolutely something that I wished for on the RS3. And now we have it on the RS4 Pro, which is a really good thing. Next up, we have the classic plate that we all have been used to on the Ronin RS3 or RS3 Pro. Now we have it a little bit improved on the RS4 Pro. As you can see, we have the same mechanism. I'm gonna take this out and show you for the camera plate that allows you to make sure you have your camera sticked really good on this plate without any movement. So this is a very, very good thing. Also, all of the plates have the same mounting, so you can use uh, previous accessories from your gimbal with this one, which is a really good thing. Next, we have a lens adapter. So if you have lenses that don't have this kind of struts for the focus motor. You have this in the package so you can adapt your non-cinema lenses to with this so you can use the focus motor. We also have a grip here, which is super beneficial if you wanna go under slung with your gimbal. This one is adjustable. You can uh, attach this and move it. And you can also put a monitor here. You have a cold shoe mount where you can mount your monitor or you have some screws. So this one is highly beneficial. I'm gonna put it on the gimbal and you will see exactly how it works. Moving on, we have the rod for the focus motor. And if you notice something that's different, well, you have a good eye. This rod is a 15 millimeter rod, which is a standard in cinematography. And it's a very good thing because previous focus motors on the Ronin series were with a smaller rod. And whenever you wanted to adapt this uh, focus motors to your current rig, it was such a pain because you had to use DJI's rod system. But now they upgraded the focus motor to work with 50 millimeter rods. 
and this is such a good thing and talking about focus motor we get a brand new redesigned focus motor which looks like this uh, this is supposed to be faster it's supposed to be smarter and it's supposed to have a better uh, performance and so on and as you can see you now have the 50 millimeter rods mount which is gonna change the game because we also get a brand new lidar system which i mentioned and having this is way easier to adapt on your current rig setups but we're gonna get to that a little bit later so this is the brand new redesigned motor which i think looks super cool and the list keeps on going with the accessories that you get we also get a mount holder, which is something you got on the RS Pro or RS3 Pro combo as well. This is the phone holder. And this is kind of beneficial for if you have cameras like Red Komodo or Sony cameras that uh, communicate through Wi-Fi, you can use this and you can um, monitor your footage. You can also connect with this to the DJI transmission system and you can have a live feed on your phone and you can use your phone as a monitor to monitor your camera feed now we also get the Raveneye wireless transmission system which we got on the previous running uh, r3 pro series we get it here as well and the cables that we get are two usb c cables which are for focus motor and lidar system and so on it's very good to have these in the package if you want to connect different kind of accessories to the Ronin RS4 Pro. And next up, we have a lot of different kind of cables which are highly beneficial for connecting your camera to the wireless system, the Raven Eye, or to the gimbal so you can have control over your camera from the gimbal itself. So we get a lot of HDMI cables and a lot of camera connection cables as well. So this is super beneficial to have and it's highly recommended if you want to have your gimbal interconnected with your camera and control your camera from the gimbal. Next up, we do have a lot more accessories and I promise I'm gonna finish with that and we're gonna mount this and see exactly how good it is. A lot of screws, a lot of different kind of backup screws and mounting screws so this is a very good thing to have because i usually lose this and it's good that we have a lot of spares and we have a lot of different accessories this one is for lenses so if you have longer lenses or anything like that you can mount this on the plate and it will help you um, kind of secure your lenses better on the gimbal we do have a backup mechanism for the plate and a mounting rod accessory for the focus motor. So as you can see, this gimbal comes back with a ton of different accessories. We have them here on the table. There are a lot of them and um, I suggest mounting this gimbal and see how it feels. So, so the Ronin RS4 Pro has a similar locking mechanism as the Ronin RS3 Pro, but this one is a little bit more improved. So it's a little bit more stiff and it's tighter and it avoids having the play that we used to have on the Ronin RS3 Pro. Now, I wanna mount a camera and see how it feels. But before that, I wanna tell you a few things about this gimbal. It has a 4.5 kilogram payload capacity, which is similar to the RS3 Pro, but with 20% more torque. After seeing how successful the DJI Ronin R3 Mini was with its vertical mount system, DJI decided to make a second generation vertical mount for the RS4 Pro. And it's actually super smart. You can go from horizontal to vertical in a matter of seconds. So let me show you how it works. You basically untighten this knob, you press here, this comes off, and then you put it like this. And then you tighten the knob. So in just a few seconds, you can go from horizontal to vertical just like that. And the beauty is that you don't really have to take the camera off because you can do it with your camera on. I'm gonna demonstrate this along the way when I'm gonna have my camera mounted on this gimbal. But this system is actually really smart and I love that they did that 
because I usually film a lot of vertical content and there are times where I have to switch because clients request horizontal as well. So having this system allows me to switch super fast and I really love that. And I really think that DJI Ronin RS4 Pro is all about integrating new things because we now have a joystick mode switch that allows for quick switching between zoom control and gimbal control and they did this because we now have the possibility to put two focus motors on the same setup. And talking about focus motor, we finally have the 50 millimeter rods, like I told you, which is such a blessing because we can adapt our focus motors to so many different kinds of rigs. Another cool improvement is the fact that we now have a dual bearing system for the roll axis. So we all have been into this situation where we wanted to adjust our roll axis, but it was super hard to move this back and forth. But now we have a different system here that allows us to move our roll axis in a way that it's easier to adjust and balance. With the RS4 Pro, we now have a fourth generation stabilization algorithm, which optimizes gimbal control based on how you're moving the gimbal and what you're filming. If you're running, it senses that you're running and it adjusts the gimbal motor performance according to what you're doing. So this is actually very good because you're not gonna be uh, filming the same every time. If you're filming run and gun, you're always gonna change your rhythm, you're always gonna change your style of filming. And having something that kind of changes the way it works based on what you're doing is gonna really make your gimbal uh, footages more stable. So I'm really curious to test it out and see exactly how it performs. But this is a very, very good thing to have. This is very cool because this new algorithm also unlocks the new car mount stabilization mode, which will make car mount setups a lot easier to use and a lot more stable. We also get a brand new battery for the Ronin RS4 Pro. And this one is an increased capacity battery that allows you to run for longer and it's something that will really help people that have heavier rigs. Talking about new products, this is the brand new LiDAR system. So this brand new LiDAR system can automatically focus on subjects up to 20 meters away, nearly tripling the reach of its predecessor. It measures up to 76 800,000 raging point, which is 77% increase over its predecessor. When using Active Track Pro, the new autofocus subject tracking function can lock onto moving subjects, quickly relocating and retaining focus even if the subject is briefly obscured. We also have a list of pre-calibrated lenses by DJI, so whenever you switch lenses, you don't have to calibrate your LiDAR system any longer. This is a feature that I'm so excited about because the calibration process sometimes can fail and you might have user error, but if this is calibrated already by DJI, you will have so much better results and it will save you a lot of time on set. We also get a new Focus Pro hand unit, which looks super pro and it feels really high quality. It supports one button linking with the Focus Pro motor, face control from up to 160 meters and start stop recording function. And we also get a brand new Focus Grip that will allow you to use the LiDAR system and the Focus motors without the actual gimbal, which is something that we all wanted for so long. This is one of the things that I really love about DJI guys. Like they always think about stuff that you might not even think about and they implement it in their brand new gear. But now enough with the talking, I wanna make a cool setup here with the LiDAR system and some crazy lenses. And I wanna get outside and test it out and see how it performs. So I managed to calibrate my Sony FX3 with a Nisi 25mm T1.5 and a PL adapter on the Ronin RS4 Pro. And as you can see, it's super stable, feels super comfortable. I also have the LiDAR system on top and the brand new focus motor. And we're gonna test it out and see how it performs. I'm not gonna film in slow motion because I wanna see exactly how good it performs this gimbal whenever I'm walking or whenever I'm running or other things like that. So. Let's test out and see how good this gimbal works.
So I decided to try out this gimbal with a bigger lens. We have an RX 45mm T1.5 now and I wanted to put the Nisi 50 on here but I have a PL adapter with ND filter on and because of the Nisi construction I couldn't fit it with this ND filter on so I have to stick with the Erix 45. Now uh, as you can see it was super stable with a 25 millimeter but I'm really curious to see how stable it is with a longer lens like this 45 millimeter so let's find out. So let me know what you think about the Ronin RS4 Pro. To be honest, I was very impressed with the new updates and how good this gimbal works. As you saw, we filmed everything in normal speed. We didn't film anything in slow motion or anything like that to smooth things out. And as you can see, this gimbal was extremely stable. I was really impressed on how good the footage turned out. Now, even with the 45 millimeter, everything was super smooth and also the LiDAR system worked absolutely amazing. And comparing with the RS3 Pro, I can really see the differences and the upgrades that this gimbal comes with. Now, of course, I really wanna test this out more and I'm gonna use it on a lot of more projects. So you better stay tuned for that. But on my next episode or on my next video, I'm gonna try out the handheld LiDAR system rig. So I'm gonna try out to make my Sony FX6 handheld with some of my best lenses and see how it performs if we only use the LiDAR system with the grip and other accessories to have autofocus on manual lenses. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Alexander Don and thanks a lot for watching. Peace.